Now, listen to this. In other news, climate czar. We like these names. These Let's just make up positions. Czar. <laughs> um, Chris Plant, a hilarious uh, radio host in uh, Washington, D.C., uh, say that the, the Democrats use this word czar because they, they love Mother Russia. Mother Russia. The czar of Russia. So since they're, you know, communists, they use this thing like, Climate czar John Kerry says he takes private jets because he's the only choice for someone like it's it's the only choice for someone like me. Again, the hypocrisy comes in with this whole climate fiasco. You know, we have we have who is it? Um, Chuck Schumer saying uh, to the to the president, yo, 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 yo. Call a climate emergency. That way you could just do whatever you want and you don't have to pass any laws through Congress. Like they've been doing with these whole, uh, uh, what, what, the, what, what is the count? Can somebody in the comment let me know what's the count on executive orders? 18, 19, 20? I, I think there's under over 20 something executive orders. Mind you, mind you, they have control of both ho houses of the Senate, meaning they could just pat, they could legally pass them the laws that he wants. Yet, yeah, no, they don't. Why? Why use that? Why? It's just, this is by the pen. That's it, the pen. Forget about the, you know, the Congress. Who's Congress? Who's the House of Representatives? We control there, so we're going to just pass it by the pen. But let me tell you that before I get into the story. I was just thinking right now, guys, haven't you guys seen the urgency? It's like an urgency. It seems like almost like an urgency. Why are they passing all these laws? Is it that Joe Biden is going to kick the bucket? Like, what's going on? Like, I just want to know, like, what is the urgency? You guys have seen the urgency. What is it? What's the urgency? Ronnie says about it's in the 30s, in the 30s, executive order. Could you believe that? Two weeks, I think, are we two weeks in? Two weeks in, 30 executive orders? 30. Just bypassing Congress. Like, no, we got control there, but we're not going to use that. We're just going to sign the, the law. Let's, let's get back to the climate czar. John Kerry says he takes a private jet because it's the only choice for him. Remember, these laws and these things are for you. For you. Don't use your car. Don't get on a private jet. For you. But for me, for the climate czar, no, not for the climate czar. Let's read a little bit here. By the way, guys, this is from Discern. I I, I, I have no relationship with this company right here, Discern. Discern. But uh, they're, they're Bible-based, but... Um, or Christian based, but you you will get good information not only you know biblically, uh, but th they have very short um, stories that get to the point re written in plain old English. Very very nicely put together in my opinion. Let's read a little bit here. Climate czar John Kerry says that traveling by private jet is the only choice for someone like me. Wow, and for you guys. For you guys, for the proletariat, <laughs> for the proletariat, you guys better start taking your 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 uh, horse drawn carriages. This is the thing. They will take those people more seriously. They will take them more seriously if they start using um, electric cars and and if they stop using airplanes to travel. And, it, it, you know, if they just for, for girl that, you know, oh, man, you know what? He's preaching climate change and he's not using even a car that pollutes uh, 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 carbon or a house that, that uses uh, 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 carbon or anything like that. You know, we might take these people more serious. But when you see people saying I could use a private jet, me. Because um, it's me, it's the only choice for someone like me. That means they're separating themselves from you. That's it. Plain and simple. Point to his record on climate activism as a way to justify taking one uh, to Iceland to receive the Arctic Circle Award for his work on climate change in 2019. So he took one to receive. <laughs> so they take private jets to receive uh, uh, their 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 little prizes because they are uh, uh, trying to protect uh, the atmosphere, right? Icelandic reporter Johan Barney Cobin Snunsum. Did I get that right? I hope I did. Confronted Kerry about his mode of transportation, saying, I understand that you came here with a private jet. Is that an environmental way to travel? That's a great question, this reporter from Iceland. I think we need a little bit more reporter like that that would ask questions to Miss, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, the the Man, I forget her name. Um, 
Jen Saki, Jen Saki, Miss Jen, I will circle back Saki. <laughs> We need more reporters like this. If if they will ask Jen Saki questions like this, all they hard questions. Well, imagine th th they'd probably not even. I haven't seen one of her things, right? I haven't seen one of none of her things. If they're if they're asking if they're th the liberal media, right, and they're asking her not hard questions, and she's having to circle back, right? It's not a slugfest like it was constantly with with um uh, Kaylee McEnany and and with the other one uh, that's running. Forget uh forget her name now that's running for governor of, of Arkansas, a blood fest every single day. These are liberal left, and she's having to circle back on these people. Imagine if she's prepared or not. And then now I heard that supposedly they're vetting the, 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 the reporters that go in there and ask the questions. Let's continue here with our, uh, our czar, right? If, if, if you offset your carbon, it's the only choice of, for somebody like me who is traveling the world to win the battle. See, I'm winning the battle, says Carrie, Carrie response. I'm winning the battle for climate change. I'm able to do this, but you're not because you are you are the proletariat. You are, We are in control. Remember, you guys are, are, are giving control to us, to us. And, and they, they will make it fine for you. Remember, we are Superman. We're going to make it good for you. Remember, don't use your car. That heater that uses uh, natural gas. No, don't use that. That uh, uh, pipeline that was going to build, be built. I, I hear there's like 80 pipelines, right, that are crossing uh, from Canada to uh, uh, the United States. But supposedly just that one, the key, the Keystone XL, uh, uh, pipeline was that real important one. That was the one that was going to help us win the battle while China is just doing their thing over there. And as a matter of fact, Kerry came on, I think, on... I'm not sure if it was CNN or saying it's saying that what we're doing now or that the no that the Paris Accord that we're entering is still not enough. Don't quote me on that. Maybe somebody could confirm that in the comments. They saying that it's not enough, not enough. What we so why are we getting it in the first place, Mister Climate Czar? He would not ask uh, an answer to why he chose to fly a private jet. Of course, now he won't answer, knowing that the private jets produce roughly forty times more carbon than commercial flights per passenger. Like. They don't even do, like, get on a commercial flight, my dude. Just get on a regular one. I think AMLO from Mexico, he's a real, oof. I'm sorry about that, guys. AMLO, did I just, one second, I took that off. Where, where was that? Yeah, I think I did. Let me go back to my history. AMLO from Mexico, right? Um, I was here. Well, okay, I guess I'm not going to be able to, oh, there you go. AMLO from Mexico, if I'm not mistaken, takes private, private, um, not private, uh, regular commercial flights. AMLO from Mexico. He's, you know, he's he's one of those. He's, he, he he likes to, I think he doesn't want to uh, waste money, right? Why don't you do that, Climate Czar? Incredible. To the people that are here, thank you for joining me this unplanned stream. I think I think I want to do a little more streams like that, like this during the middle of the week. I think it. Uh, I enjoy them, to be honest. Guy, I enjoy all this. You guys know this. I enjoy talking to you guys. And don't leave for the people that are here. There's 10 of you here. We have a record tonight. I know. I don't know if this is a record, but I'm glad that you guys are here. Don't leave. We are going to be uh, talking a little bit about uh i just want to chat a little bit with you guys before i uh close it up but let's continue because there's a lot of stuff um uh, for the night tonight right uh look at this guys you are going to be paying for uh abortions overseas now so yeah, the 